Sawyer County has no shortage of attractions. From the thrills and chills of North America's largest cross-country race on the Berkabiner Trail, to the timber-tapping thrill of the Lumberjack World Championships, to the tranquil Nelson Lake. There's plenty to do and see in Sawyer County. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Our first stop takes us to Nelson Lake, located in the heart of Sawyer County and nestled amidst the beautiful Northwoods region. This serene lake offers a tranquil escape for nature lovers, outdoor enthusiasts, and those seeking a peaceful retreat or the idyllic getaway on the lake. Well, one of my favorite parts of the Northwoods is how family friendly it is. So I brought the whole crew along. These are my <laughs> twin boys, my husband, and my parents. We're gonna go pontoon riding out to Big Island. Come on guys, let's go. There's plenty of fish in this lake. Hopefully we'll catch some, or hopefully I will. I know he will. So can we get out and uh, get our rods ready? Let's do it. One of the things we've noticed as we've driven around the lake is how tight-knit the community is. On the lake, there are about 30 daily campsites between the different places. There's about 30 different cabins that you can choose from. There's also some condos and three different motels. There's also um, five bars and restaurants and all of them have dock space so you can drive right up to the bar from the lake and get off, have a bite to eat and jump back on and go. We're gonna use leeches ah. and night crawlers and we'll see what happens. This is obviously a very popular fishing lake. It is, yep. If you like to target Northern Pike, this is a trophy Northern fishery. We do have some nice walleyes in the lake. The bass fishing is very good for those that like to bass fish. Oh, you know, on a nice summer day, when you're out here and it's just you and the fish you're trying to catch and nature, yeah, it's, I mean, it's very nice. What does your campground offer? Well, we have 19 daily sites and we do have 30 seasonal sites. We have a playground for the kids. We have a swimming area right behind us here. We do offer some pontoons for rental. Um, we do have a, a bath house with the showers and, and stuff like that. It's just a nice, quiet, family-friendly campground. And the other thing that's nice is we have a lot of public lands for uh, ATVing, UTVing, whatever you want to do in the woods. We have great access in and around Nelson Lake. All of the resorts on this lake do have access to the UTV trails. On our case, it goes right across our property. Most of the places you can trailer to the resort and then you don't have to trailer to a site. You can just jump off and get on the UTV trails. And for those that are open in the winter, the snowmobiling, the same thing. I have a bluegill. Ah. And we have a lot of people that stay on the lake and they plan day trips from here. You know, they might go to Bayfield, they might go to Duluth, in addition to going in town for dinner. What are some of the activities that people love to do out on the lake? Well, it's a large lake. It's almost 3,000 acres and quite a lot of it is county land. So there's lots of places where you can just beach your boat, jump off and go swimming and play a little bit on the lake shore. There is a 800 acre island in the middle of it with lots of county land on it. So a lot of people just beach right up. It's also good for fishing, swimming, if you want to go water skiing, jet skiing. With the size of the lake, lots of times you feel like you're out there all by yourself. The colors on the lake are amazing. If you can get a pontoon ride anytime in October, you will not be disappointed. And there's quite a few places that do rent pontoons on the resort. So there's always that opportunity. After a day on the water, I'm trading in my sea legs for a hot meal. And there's plenty of options right on the lake to pull up the boat and grab a pint and a plate. With all the terrific cabins, resorts, restaurants, fishing, swimming, and boating options here, Nelson Lake has everything you need for a relaxing getaway. And with just a short drive to Hayward, Nelson Lake is the perfect destination to escape the crowds while still enjoying all the amenities of a lavish lifestyle. 
If you want adventure on some of the best off-road trails the state has to offer, Nelson Lake has you covered. Let's ride. Now, I know that Sawyer County, one of the best in the state of Wisconsin, over 200 miles of trails right here. The Sawyer County Snowmobile and ATV Alliance does the maintenance on them, and we all pitch in and do trail work when needed. Well, uh, you can't say enough to those clubs because that's the reason that the trail system is as wonderful as it is up Correct. here because of those Correct. men and women doing that. Yep, you can drive as long as you want. You can go all day, all night. You can go for 50 miles. You can go 100 miles, rock, mud, whatever you want, we've got it. The nice thing about Nelson Lake is we've got the resorts with camping and lodging for everybody. You can okay. take off with your UTV right from the lake, right from the lodges. Our resorts, bars are plenty along the lake. They go all the way around the lake. You're up here, you're kind of out of touch with the city of Hayward, but you're only less than 10 minutes away. You can bring your kids. It's a family-friendly atmosphere. So now we're going to switch gears and I'm going to try something I've never done before and that is gravel road biking. It's a huge part of cycling now because you can get away from cars and it's just time to be outside, get a little exercise and see some countryside. Well, I'm excited to try this, so let's go get fitted for the bike. Let's do it. This is the one I'm going to ride. Yep. And I got a nice fancy seat here too. It's That's pretty important fancy. for me. This saddle right here is a high performance saddle. It's assuming you're riding almost every day during the summertime. So in the springtime, that's going to be uncomfortable to me. I might have something a little softer than that. The gravel tires are intermediate to mountain bike and road. So they're going to be knobby, but they're going to be narrower than a mountain bike tire. Well, Joel, I'm excited. Let's go hit the trails. Sounds good. It's not a mountain bike experience. It's still a road cycling experience, but we're getting away from traffic. And we can ride by some lakes and through some woods. And this area, Sawyer County in general, are there a lot of trails here? There are a lot of routes that have been marked out. Uh, a lot of people have been exploring for a long time, maybe doing multi-day camping with bikes, with gear on the bikes. Some of these people are racking up 100 mile days. Now, a novice biker, extreme bike cyclist, everybody in between can get into gravel road biking? For sure, and sometimes <laughs> the beginners tend to like it because it is away from traffic and it's in the forest particularly up here. I mean, you can have some really shaded, quiet routes in the backcountry up here. And it's family friendly, right? You're getting groups together, friends. You said a lot of weekenders. This is what they're coming up for a weekend. Well, and a lot of people like to mix this up. So if you're gonna ride in some hills north of Hayward and then come back to the cabin and maybe spend the afternoon fishing and recovering, <laughs> that's a really nice way to mix it up. I, I agree. Yeah. I'm gonna probably need the afternoon okay. on the boat. I <laughs> think that's for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. <laughs> What makes gravel biking, especially in the Nelson Lake area, so unique? It's really quiet. It's just on the outskirts of Hayward. But the whole north side of the lake is all public lands, and there's a lot of access to go into the woods beyond. Just a hop, skip away, and accessible from Nelson Lake by UTV and ATV, we're heading to Hayward. I actually get to meet the famous Dave. So where did you get your start in barbecue? How did that come to fruition? Uh, I used to have these backyard barbecue parties, and uh, you know, I probably spent at least 20 years working on my barbecue recipes. And after a while, people would say, Dave, this barbecue is so delicious you ought to open up your own barbecue joint. And so I started building the first Famous Dave's up here in Hayward, Wisconsin, a town of only 2,000 people. And then by the end of that first summer, we were serving over 6,000 people a week. What makes Famous Dave's and everything I do so special is something I learned from my dad. My dad's a full-blood Choctaw Indian from Idabel, Oklahoma. My mom is from the Lacouture tribe in Northwest Wisconsin. The unfortunate part about this story is back in the 20s, uh, both my parents were really ripped from their families, stuck in Indian boarding schools, basically almost made them orphans. And, and if there's a positive side to that, my parents met. But I can remember 
how important barbecue and southern foods was to my dad being from the south. One of the things I really learned from my dad, it was very important to have the right ingredients. And even still today, I fresh grind all my seasonings. And, and I won't put something on the menu until I know folks will drive 100 miles just to come and eat my cooking. You have your own line of wine. You know, I never thought that I would turn out to be a winemaker, but all the years of making uh, my barbecue sauces using real fruit juices uh, has given me a palate that's unlike any other palate. And so we, we ended up making some blackberry, blueberry, raspberry, some cranberry wines, and then we sent them off to an international wine competition, 2,500 other entries. And, uh, we were blown away because we ended up winning two golds, two silvers, and a bronze. Our first course has arrived. What do we have here? These wings are what we're becoming known for. They're garlic parmesan smoked wing. And these chicken tenders are so tender, they're juicy. This is our southern comeback sauce. It's really robust, it's flavorful. It makes your taste buds dance. Exactly, it wakes them up a little bit. There you go. <laughs> and then of course, won't be Wisconsin without sweet corn. Fresh sweet corn, picked right outside. America's best rib. Okay, let's test them out. Melt in your mouth. Melt in your mouth. Fall off the bone. Juicy. Green peppers, onions, olives, mushrooms, pepperoni, sausage, and a lot of Wisconsin cheese on it. So good. So I'm here at Summit Lake Game Farm enjoying this beautiful view of Summit Lake. So what can people do at a game farm like this? So at Summit Lake Game Farm, we offer a couple different opportunities for folks to get out and enjoy the Northwoods. We have 88 site campground with full beach. We have three cabins here that we rent out. We have a five stand station. We have 10 station of sporting clays, thousand yard rifle range, 400 acres of pheasant and chucker hunting opportunities. And then overall the total property is about 7,400 acres. Uh, and we offered in season bear hunts, deer hunts, turkey hunts. Anything a sportsman would really like to do uh, is available here on the property. Great bar too with this patio on a day like this. Oh, that's, yeah, we, we just put in a great outdoor patio bar uh, to, to complement the indoor restaurant that we have here. Yeah, my sister and her staff do an absolutely amazing job in the kitchen. So Bill, if you don't own guns already and if you've never shot before, can you still come here and do it? Oh, you bet. We love to have first timers out here. We do have gun rentals. We do have ammunition for folks. For those wanting to do some hunting, we do supply trainers and dogs as well. Yeah, well, treat me like a beginner, but I'm excited to start shooting some clays here. Yeah, we're excited to have you guys here, and I'll tell you, let's get out there and hit some clays. You'll get up, go ahead and position. Take it off when you're ready. Finger outside the trigger on the trigger guard. When you're ready, you'll pull. You'll throw the target and shoot. Go and you'll pull. Pull! It's a little behind it. A little low, right? Yep. So then just keep that gun moving as you're shooting. Follow that bird. There you go, you got it. Thanks for all the great instruction. Bet, bet. Right. It was fun. And now it's time for golf. And here at Barker Lake Golf Course, situated on beautiful Barker Lake, they have an amazing golf course and an illustrious history. I'm gonna go meet the owner, Sue, and find out more. This golf course was built by a Chicago gangster, Joel Saltis. He was a beer baron. He had a brewery before Prohibition. When Prohibition started, he just continued to brew beer and created enough money to build this resort here and made a wonderful place for himself. Eventually, he decided to reside here and live a, a more quiet life. So I understand uh, Mr. Soltis wanted to kind of a Scottish style links. That's correct. You know, the push-up greens. We have the Schwanigan National Forest on one side, but it's fairly open. If you really want to enjoy the woods, you've got the forest right there, but if you want to golf, there's not a lot in your way. Nothing hits the spot better after a round of golf than an ice-cold beer while taking in the stunning views of Barker Lake. Our next stop takes us to the Birkebeiner Trail, a wonderful all-season trail that stretches over 62 miles from Hayward to Cable. 
They maintain this trail all year round. So you can mountain bike on it, you can fat tire bike on it, you can walk it, hike it, however you want to do it. And in the winter time, it's filled with cross country skiers. So the American Berkebeiner Ski Race is the largest cross country ski marathon in North America. It draws thousands of visitors here to the area every February. But here in the summer, I have the trail all to myself right now to admire all the nature around me. And in the fall, when the colors turn, it's that much more beautiful. And you're one with nature. Man, Jim, walking through these gardens, it's so tranquil, so pretty. How many different varieties of plants do you have here? Boy, that's a big number. I would say over 2,000 anyway. We have six houses. House one, which we just walked by, that has vegetables and herbs. In here, in the spring, there's all kinds of geraniums and dahlias, annuals. In the middle house, number three, we have house plants and tropicals. We go over to house four, a lot more annuals, hundreds of different varieties, petunias, begonias. We get over to house five, we have perennials. Yeah, we got apple trees and fruit trees, pears, plums, cherries, and ornamental trees. You know, a lot of different varieties of ornamental trees. What draws people from far and wide? The atmosphere, the display gardens. And the other thing we put a lot of effort into is making sure that our staff are informed and that we do everything we can to inform our customers how to grow well. We're here at the National Freshwater Fishing Hall of Fame where there's plenty to see. So if you want to know who has the record for catching various types of fish, this is the place to come. We are North America's freshwater fishing record keeper. We recognize over 125 different species and we have about 3,000 entries in our book and both kept and catch and release from the very largest in the species to all the various wine class records. It really is the history and heritage of freshwater sport fishing on display. Hayward is synonymous with muskies and big muskies and this is a 54 inch, 50 pound muskie caught right here in the state of Wisconsin. Ah, here's the world record sized muskie. October 20th, 1949, out of Wisconsin's Chippewa Flowage. So as we enjoy outdoor recreation here in Sawyer County, it helps to have somebody who knows the local rivers. And I have Max with me here. Hello, Max. Thanks hey. for joining me today for this canoeing. Yeah, looking forward to it. So tell me about the Namakagan River. I've never canoed on it. The Namakagan River is a national scenic riverway, which is a really cool designation. It means the shorelines are wild throughout almost the entire extent of the river. You know, it's not white water, but it's, it's really beautiful. There's good fishing, there's good wildlife watching. You know, it's very scenic, of course. You know, spring is nice because you get tons of wildlife. You get all the waterfowl coming through and kind of everything's coming alive. Summer's great, especially if you want to dip your toes a little bit and splash around and get in the water a little bit. Obviously, you want to do it when it's warm. And then fall is just beautiful out here. But if you don't have your own boats, there's lots of outfitters in the area that'll be happy to help you. You know, they do rentals and they'll do the, the shuttles and drop off and stuff. And so all you have to worry about is show up and enjoy the day and paddle. So it's a great place to spend either a day or you can set up a multi-day float trip because there's free campsites along the river. You can find some really great spots to spend the night and then continue on with your trip the next day. You can do the whole river. It's 103 miles and take you about a week. Uh, I would definitely only recommend <laughs> that for experienced people and you got to plan your meals and everything, but you got 100 miles of riverway going right through Sawyer County. From the beauty and privacy of Nelson Lake to all the adventures and attractions of Hayward, Sawyer County is the ideal year-round destination for those seeking an escape into the outdoors. Visit shop.discoverwisconsin.com and discover new ways to share the Wisconsin love.